Good morning. This is how I'm taking you out. How y'all doing this morning? Seven, what, seven o'clock? Auntie Flea, still sleeping. I'm just waking up and seeing what the news is talking about. If they've gotten any more details. I'm just curious to know why Memphis don't like giving the suspect names. What they holding the names for? It's always a little hanky panky when they do stuff like that. Man, the news, not the news guy, the, the spokesman for the MPD don't always say they was targeted. I'm just curious to know what was taken. Since the charges, first degree murder, somebody got attempted murder, and then I think robbery. Let's listen. One is charged with first-degree murder after a shooting outside of a Hickory Hill. by Fox 13 shows what happened in the final moments. Suspects are in custody. One is charged with first-degree murder after a shooting outside of a Hickory Hill restaurant last night. Video obtained by Fox 13 shows what happened in the final moments because of two men. Are Turner is live outside Prebay tonight. Dakari, we just got new information from police, correct? This moments ago, in fact, tonight we know that the five people injured, you talk about two killed, five people injured are in the hospital in critical condition tonight. That murder suspect, there is another suspect tonight charged with attempted murder and robbery as well. Go ahead and take a look at your screen. That part, what, what, what was the robbery? What was taken? What, was a chain snatched? What, what was the robbery? And why are they withholding the names? Shooter right before the victim is hit by gunfire. One person already on the ground. We blurred that person out. But inside it appears a fight led to everything outside. Now I talked to a man visiting Memphis after a drive from Detroit. His plan to come to the restaurant last night were scrubbed by a late arrival. It's real crazy, but the world we live in is life. Does that make you less likely to come back in this area and want to pay your money to frequent businesses? I mean, pretty much. We need more police officers. We need great police officers. We also need to address the social issues going forward. Now, tonight, the investigation does continue, police have said. We reached out to Prive multiple times trying to get comment. We have also uh, learned tonight that uh, police have or are not ready, even though they've made these arrests, that they are not ready, they say, to release the names of the suspects or the relationship between everybody involved that we just showed you in that video. Darcy, back to you. Now, tonight, the investigation does continue, police have said. We reached out to Prive multiple times trying to get comment. We have also uh, learned tonight that uh, police have or are not ready, even though they've made these arrests, that they are not ready, they say, to release the names of the suspects or the relationship between everybody involved that we just showed you in that video. Darcy, back to you. That is Fox 13's Zakari Turner reporting out of Hickory Hill for us tonight. A massive police scene in Whitehaven, near Elvis Presley and Reigns, in fact. Fox 13's Kayla Solomon is also in Whitehaven tonight. Kayla, I know you spoke with witnesses today, and they told you that something happened at the food mart behind you and then moved over to an apartment complex. That's right, Darcy. This is as close as we could get to that food mart. You see it off in the distance there. It's that Sam's food market. We're told that it all started in there with a man who walked in. He showed a gun at some point. It was an altercation with the woman inside the store. And from there, witnesses told me they heard five to seven rounds of gunshots. They said it first started when 
officers got to the scene and then they heard more. We don't know exactly the status of anyone that was taken to the hospital, but we have been able to confirm at this time that two officers have been shot. At least one of them has been taken to the hospital. But again, we know it started at this food market. And we also know that there's an apartment complex just off in the corner here. It's hard to see from where we are, but there's an apartment complex to where this scene extended to, and that's where the gunshots were fired. Now, this is what one witness I spoke to had to say. All I hear is someone say, someone's, the guy's got a gun out front and he's flashing it. The girl in front of me, there's an altercation. They go outside. I'm over there checking out. We hear pop, pop. The store clerk tells me stay inside. 30 cop cars show up. There's seven more pops. And then there's a body laying beside the fire truck. So you heard it there. That's just one witness. He was actually in the store at the time that this happened. He was standing in the Now, y'all noticed that the police hadn't that. said he's nothing about the body through. outside. He says he's a little shaken up now. But again, he did describe seeing one person. We don't know the status of that person or if that person has been taken to the hospital. We're waiting to get more information from the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation at this point. They've officially been called in. They're taking over this investigation. That's thanks to District Attorney Steve Mulroy. So as I said right now, it all started in this food market across the way. That's on East Rains. The closest intersection here is Barton Drive. That's where I'm standing. This is as close. We're still waiting to see when we'll hear. From get some clarity. Uh, you just reported that your sources are telling you that two officers were shot and one was rushed to Region 1. 